good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This video is part two of the Systems Analysis and Design Course Series video. In this video, we will discuss on the AS Development Project Management. My name is Gunggu. Welcome to channel Gunggu Learning. One method to execute the information systems development is by using a project-based approach. There are five items that need to be considered by companies if they want to use this project-based approach. The first one is the project initiation. Companies need to make sure that problems are identified so they can do the project. The second one is conducting the project feasibility study to make sure the initiated project is feasible. And the third one is to plan and control the project. The fourth one is the project scheduling. And the last one is the team management for the project. After considering these five items, companies then will be able to create a project proposal. In the project initiation, other than identifying problems that is currently faced by the company, they also need to identify the objectives of the project. Then, they also need to propose alternative solutions to the problem. For example, in the current business process of a company, we found two phenomena. The first one is declining in sales and the second one is customers are disloyal. Based on these two phenomena, companies need to analyze them and conclude what kind of problem is currently being faced. For example, after analyzing the two phenomena, the companies found that there is ineffectiveness in servicing the customer. The waiting time for its service is too long. This can be viewed as the current problem that is faced by the company. Afterwards, the company will decide the objective to the problem, which is to solve the problem. Once the problem is solved, the phenomena will also omit it automatically. After deciding on the objective, then we can continue to propose alternative solutions. In this example, we can propose three alternative solutions. The first one is to add additional employees. This will make the service time quicker and more effective. The second one is to develop a self-service system, giving another quicker service time. And the last one is to change to an online service so that customers do not need to wait in line for the services and can directly receive the service online. Companies also need to conduct a feasibility testing, for example, for the three solutions. There are minimum three main feasibility tests to be done. The first one is the technical feasibility test. Company needs to test whether the IT resources in the company can install and run the developed information systems. The second one is the operational feasibility test. Companies need to make sure that the IT and human resources of the company can run the developed IS effectively and efficiently. And the last one is the economics feasibility testing. Companies also need to make sure that the developed IS will provide economics advantage higher than the sacrifices. 
In the technical feasibility testing, company first need to inventory their current IT infrastructure to be more precise their hardware and software. First, company needs to evaluate and decide whether their own hardware can install and run the alternative solutions or not. In the example, for the first solution, since we only add employees, the current hardware should be able to run the solution. Meanwhile, for the second and third alternative solutions, the company may need to purchase new hardware or use a cloud computing-based services such as infrastructure as a service. Next, company should also do the same to the software. In the example, for the first solution, there should be no problem for the current software to run it. However, for the second and third solution, company may need to choose to purchase new software or develop a new software or use cloud computing services such as software as a service. On the operational feasibility testing, company will evaluate its resources such as human resources to make sure the alternative solutions can be operated effectively and efficiently. In the example, for the first solutions, company can recruit ordinary employees and give trainings to them. However, for the second and third alternative solutions, company may need to recruit new employees with a certain skill set. For the third solution, the company may also need to recruit a network administrator. On the economics feasibility testing, company can use the cost and benefit analysis. For example, by using net present value to make sure that the information systems project investment will give high return compared to the cost. The feasibility study result will show the company of which alternative solutions is the most feasible one and can be chosen as the IS project. After deciding which alternative solutions can be employed, company can start to do an activity planning for the project as well as estimating the time that can be allocated to the project from start to finish. In planning the activity, company can use a work breakdown structure to break down the activities. And then, the activity can be based on the development method employed, for example, by using the SDLC phases. Next, company can use several methods to estimate the timing of the project. Some of the methods that can be used, for example, is by using previous experience or by using analogies to other projects. We can also calculate the time estimation by using several estimation models in an application. For example, using Kokomo or Komosis estimation models in the System Stars application. The project planning and time estimation then will need to be controlled so that there are no undesirable events that could happen. For example, we can control it by using budgets and conducting audits. After we finish deciding the project activity planning and time estimates, then we can input those activity and estimates to a project schedule. We can use several methods in project scheduling. There are two popular methods that can be used, Gantt chart and PERT diagram. This is an example of a Gantt chart. As we can see here, Gantt chart has two main columns. The first one is the activity column and the second one is the time. 
So we can see for each activity how much time is allocated. And this is an example of a bird diagram. We can also see the activity and time for the project here. However, unlike gun chart, the activity is noted by using a diagram and sequentially drawn to show the time estimation. The last item that need to be considered is to decide on a project team and manage them in the project. In a project team, you should decide on the head of the project, then the analyst, and the developer for the project. And also, we need an auditor to control the project as well as several assistants to the project. In forming the team, we should consider the ability of the team in effectively communicate with the top management of the company. By doing so, the team will gain support for the project from the top management of the company. And it's one of the deciding factors whether the project can be successful or not. We can use several applications in managing the information systems project. For example, we can use Microsoft Project. After considering those five items, we can then develop the IS project proposal. The proposal should consist of at least with several items, such as background, problem, objectives, and solutions. Next is the description of the feasibility analysis result. The proposal should also consist of activity list, the project scheduling, and project budgeting. And finally, we can make conclusions of the project proposal. I have prepared for you guys a tutorial module for the Microsoft project that can be accessed through the links in the description of the video below. In the module, we can learn how to manage a project by using Microsoft project. And inside Microsoft project, we can use Gun chart view, and we can also change it to per diagram view. We can also look at the activity and team management, and lastly, we can also create budget automatically. Other than Microsoft Project tutorial, I also include a tutorial module to create an interactive proposal of information system project by using Microsoft Word. That's all that we can discuss. Thank you for your attention. I'll be seeing you in the next session. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Good day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.